Hey everyone, my name is Mary Jo and I am a third year student at the University of Toronto studying physiology, human biology and immunology. In today's experiment, we will be looking at air expansion and how pressure works. So we will be lighting up a candle that is sitting on water and covering it with a uh, pitcher to, uh, and see what happens. So will the flame uh, stay uh, lit or will it turn off? And what's going to happen with the water? So is the level of the water going to rise, going to go down, or, or is it going to stay the same? So let's get started. Please note that for this video, you will need parental assistance to light up a candle. So for this experiment, we're going to need a plate filled with water, food coloring is optional, an empty glass, a candle, and a lighter. For this experiment, we're going to light up a candle and put it in the center of the plate, on the water. Then, we're going to cover the candle with the empty glass upside down and wait and see what happens. As we can see, the flame slowly goes out and then the water starts to rise inside the cup and to go down in the plate. I will be showing you the experiment a second time with a smaller candle so that the results can be visualized more clearly. So as we have seen in the experiment, the water is rising inside the glass. But why is that? This is because of air pressure. Air pressure is the force that the air exerts on a surface when it comes in contact with it. So like the pressure of the air on your skin or on the lid of a closed bottle. So when the candle is lit, the flame is heating the air inside the glass, which will cause the air to expand since it is hot now, so it has a higher energy, which will cause the air pressure to increase. So the air is taking more space and will press down onto the liquid inside the glass. So some of this air will be leaving the glass. This is why you might see some bubbles or hear some sounds of the air leaving the glass. After a few seconds, once the flame goes out due to the lack of oxygen, this will cause the air to cool down in a few seconds. And therefore, the air will shrink. Once it starts shrinking, we will now have a higher air pressure on the outside, pressing down on the water in the dish. This air pressure on the outside is called atmospheric pressure. So now the atmospheric pressure is higher than the pressure inside the glass. So the atmospheric air will be pushing against the water in the dish, which will go up in the glass since the air pressure is lower in the glass than outside the glass. Once the air pressure on the outside reaches the pressure on the inside, the water will stop rising since equilibrium is now reached. So where can the difference in air pressure be seen in our everyday life? Well, imagine yourself drinking from a straw. When you're doing that, you are lowering the air pressure inside the straw, which causes the air pressure on the outside, the atmospheric pressure, to be higher than the air pressure inside the straw which causes the water or the juice you are drinking to go up and reach your mouth. Thanks for watching! You can now try this experiment yourself at home. And don't forget to take a picture and tag Pueblo Science. Also, for more content, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and TikTok, and comment below what you would like to see next. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.